Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Nadia and this is the place where we get real. And today I am getting super real about my top sex hacks, six of them to be exact. And the sixth one, let me tell you, it is a hot one. So you're gonna wanna make sure you keep watching all the way through to the end so you don't miss it. So if that sounds good to you, keep on watching. Welcome back to my channel. Are you serious with me? Oh my god, oh my god! <laughs> I don't understand how these things always happen to me. So I think we can all agree that most of us want to have better sex because sex is really awesome. It has a number of known health benefits, including reducing our stress levels. According to some research, it can even increase our immunity. It can also improve our focus and concentration at work and make us feel happier and more self-confident. And it feels really good. So why wouldn't we want to be having better sex? Well, you guys are in love because I have some top secret hacks, things that you don't hear in sex ed and things that aren't acknowledged in porn that are really gonna supercharge your sex life. Whether that is a sex life that has just gotten a bit meh because you've been with your partner for a long time and things are getting a bit stale, or whether that sex you're having for the very first time just for a hot one night stand. These hacks will work no matter what your gender is and no matter who the person is that you're having sex with under pretty much any circumstance. So with that out of the way, let's get into hack number one. Something that tends to come up a lot when people are surveyed about their sex lives is the fact that most people would like sex to last longer. Now, this tends to be for different reasons when we talk to men and women. Men often say that they want sex to last longer because they want to be able to please their female partner and they want to help their female partner get to orgasm. Whereas women tend to want sex to last longer because we need longer in order to relax enough to make arousal possible so that we can get to orgasm. Research shows that the average amount of time it takes a woman to reach climax during partnered sex is somewhere between 12 to 25 minutes. While for men, that number is around four minutes. So we need to do something to bridge that gap so that both parties can get to O-Town. And one of the best ways to do this is for men to really take the edge off so men are less sensitive during penetration and therefore less likely to get to climax sooner than their female partners. And the often most effective way of doing that is with something called a delay spray. Now, delay sprays are essentially designed to take away a lot of the sensitivity and the sensation from a man's penis while he's having penetrative sex so that he can go for longer. Unfortunately, what most delay sprays actually do is cause men to feel completely numb downstairs so that they can't enjoy or feel sex at all, which doesn't really sound like a lot of fun. Worse still, most delay sprays can be easily transferred to your female partner so that she's also becoming numb during sex, so she's not gonna have any chance of getting to climax either. And this is all not to mention some of the terrible terrible side effects that can come with these kinds of products. And for that reason, I don't typically recommend these products on my channel. However, I recently discovered a new product that completely tackles all of these issues and can help men to last longer without making them go numb and without having to worry about transference. And that product is Promescent. And Promescent have also very kindly offered to sponsor today's video to help me be able to make this video because I need sponsors on this channel in order to keep doing this stuff. So I wanna tell you a little bit about Promescent and why they are my top choice to help you go longer in bed. Promescent is an FDA compliant delay spray that helps men last longer in bed and the only delay spray in North America that's undergone a certified clinical study which showed men who use it go the distance. Promescent works by using target zone technology which helps extend your performance without making you feel numb while ensuring little to no transference to your partner when used as directed. This is because unlike regular delay sprays, Promescent doesn't sit on the surface of the skin. Instead, it sits just below the epidermis where it's much more effective. There's no need to think about math, your grand 
grandma or the baseball score anymore. Promescent takes away the edge so that you can just relax and enjoy the moment. Promescent's recommended by over 2,200 physicians, doctors, sex therapists, and urologists as a first-line defense for early ejaculation. Better still, it's available over-the-counter and online without a prescription, so you can avoid that awkward doctor's appointment. Promescent also offer a wide range of sexual enhancement products, including silky smooth lubes, supplements to increase your energy and libido, massage oils, condoms, and female arousal gel. They're essentially a one-stop shop for hot, healthy sex all year round. Promescent's products are already incredibly cheap, but because they've partnered up with me, they're offering you guys a special discount. Just hit the link below this video to have your 15% off discount applied instantly and experience longer lasting love. Something I really wish I learned about in sex education and something that just isn't acknowledged at all, really not even in porn, is the incredibly important role of lubrication, specifically for women. And I say incredibly important because lubrication can really make or break a woman's ability to orgasm. Without lubrication, sex isn't only gonna be non-orgasmic, it's most likely gonna be painful. When we have dry sex as women, it can cause something known as micro tears. And micro tears are exactly what they sound like. They are tiny microscopic tears that occur in our vaginal tissue, which is very delicate and so very prone to tearing when we are having dry sex. And that's sex that doesn't involve lubrication. The reason so many women have dry sex is because there is this huge fallacy that whenever we're turned on or horny that we are just like super soaking wet down there that we just always have this as cardi b would put it wet ass pussy i have a pink dildo in my dresser but in reality it's just not the case there are so many contributing factors that can affect a woman's ability to get lubricated things like the aging process stress illness some types of medication menopause all of these things can throw a woman's lubrication out of whack and mean that she could be very aroused and not lubricated at all or she might be lubricated but just not enough in fact most women don't tend to be lubricated enough when they have sex and this really cuts back on the pleasure lubrication actually allows a woman to have that increased sensitivity downstairs so that she can have more pleasure and sex can be more orgasmic and that's why i recommend you always involve a tube of lube in sex. Whether you are a woman who just naturally gets lubricated when you're turned on or you don't really get lubricated at all, it really doesn't matter because there truly is no such thing as too much lube. You cannot overuse lube. Like I really mean that you guys, you cannot use too much. Opt for a water-based lube because those tend to be the best on all different skin types. They're also the best to use with most sex toys and they can feel really cool when they touch the skin, which can really help to increase the sense of stimulation to your genitals. And you just have that nice silkiness when you have a water-based lube on your genitals. It glides around, it feels amazing, and it will also help your fingers or your partner's fingers or penis or sex toy to glide around on your genitals as well. And when you have that more sense of smoothness, everything is going to feel better and it's going to feel more pleasurable. So as of today, start having sex that involves lube. Each and every time you have sex, just reach for that bottle of lube. It is honestly life-changing stuff and it's so simple. I really wish someone would have told me this sooner. <laughs> Studies show that most women require direct clitoral stimulation in order to reach orgasm. And unfortunately, just conventional penetrative sex does not really stimulate the clitoris at all. The position that's probably most likely to do that naturally is girl on top, because when you are riding on top of a man, you can grind your pelvic bone against him, and that can involve a little bit of friction on the clitoris that may or may not stimulate your clitoris. If you want guaranteed clitoral sensitivity, you really need to have that direct stimulation. And the best way to do that is with your finger or your partner's finger to literally touch your clitoris during sex. Where's the clitoris?
because it's estimated around three quarters of women actually need that constant touch on the clitoris in order to get to O-Town. Now, what is a big problem for a lot of women is that they just don't have a lot of sensitivity around their clitoris because there are factors that can really dull a woman's clitoral sensitivity. Medication is a really big one. Antidepressants can really dull genital sensitivity and make it very hard for a woman to experience clitoral sensation at all. I myself was on antidepressants for a couple of years and I lost all of my clitoral sensation. It was awful. And this is something that doctors quite often just conveniently don't tell you about. So what can you do if you don't have a lot of sensitivity going on down around your clitoris? Well, what you wanna do is you wanna increase blood flow to the clitoris because blood flow to the clitoris helps the clitoris to get swollen and engorged and that is what happens right before a woman orgasms. Now a really cool trick to do that is to use an arousal gel. Arousal gels are basically designed to add a little bit of stimulating ingredients to the clitoris. Things that are gentle and aren't going to aggravate the clitoris but they're just going to feel a little bit tingly and stimulating. Often things like menthol or spices of some sort in just very small amounts, very naturally to really get that blood flow going and to help you have that clitoral sensation. Promescent actually have a really good one, which I love. I quite often use it. It is uh, this baby. This is Promescent's female arousal gel. I will put the link to it as well in the description under this video. This is a really good one to try. You just pop it on your clitoris a few minutes before sex, give it some time to kind of settle in, and then you just, just start feeling kind of like a tingliness and a warmth and things start feeling really good. And you're like, hello, that's what my clitoris is supposed to feel like. Okay, now I get this. And a lot of women haven't had that experience before because they just haven't had enough blood flow to their genitals. So if you're a woman who has just never found sex super enjoyable, a female arousal gel is a really good investment to make to help get that sensitivity down there and get yourself to O-Town. Dirty talk is a great way to bring novelty back into the bedroom. And this is something that we know is particularly important for women. Research shows that it's actually women not men who require very high amounts of sexual novelty in order to maintain interest in sex. We're actually not happy just having the same kind of sex. That's why a lot of women in long-term relationships and marriages will often complain that they just don't feel like sex anymore. In actuality, it's not that they don't feel like sex anymore, it's that they don't feel like having the same kind of sex that they've been having anymore because in a nutshell, women are easily sexually bored. So dirty talk is a way to really break through that sexual boredom because it allows you to get into a role and explore a fantasy. Dirty talk is a great way for you to play out that fantasy. If you've always fantasized of having your partner be a naughty headmistress and you being the bad schoolboy that just has to get punished in the best worst possible way, then dirty talk can be a way for you to do that. Really talk through that scene with your partner in the bedroom, talk about your fantasy, talk about the fact that you're ready for your punishment and <laughs> you're ready for the headmistress to give it to you. Whatever is your fantasy, talk about it. Now, if that's too intimidating for you and you're a bit of a novice at dirty talk, honestly, one of the best ways you can graduate into doing it is to simply just talk about the things that you are actually feeling while you're having sex. So if you are noticing that your partner's skin feels really soft and silky and supple, then tell them. Your skin feels so soft and silky and supple. That's hot. Tell your partner that they feel really hard and that you love the way that they're giving it to you. Really let them know the things that you're feeling. So often we stay completely silent in bed apart from a few moans or groans here and there and we don't engage our minds and our minds are just as important as the rest of our bodies. So put some dirty talk in into the game and get your mind into gear so that you can really amp things up. 
Research has shown that extended passionate kissing can trigger intense arousal in women. And yet it's something that we just really don't tend to do a lot. It's something that most of us did a ton when we were in high school. Like before you started doing all the other kind of sex stuff and you were just doing the making out stuff. Remember when you used to just make out with your boyfriend or girlfriend for like hours and it was like really hot and you used to get like really horny yeah go back to that go back to pretending like you're naughty teenagers trying not to get caught and just kiss kissing is such a great way to reignite a sense of intimacy in a long-term relationship and even if it's sex you're having for the first time kissing can be a great way to spark intense arousal in women particularly when you do kissing with all of the clothes on so you do kissing before sex and you do it for at least five to ten minutes and you don't take any of each other's clothes off so you can still touch and have tons of plenty of sexy touch but make that touch be over the clothes. And the reason for that is because it creates a sense of anticipation. I see you shiver with anticipation. It makes our minds wander and, and think about what's going to happen next. It makes us really crave that next move. And when we get a chance to actually get our minds into gear and really think about what's going to happen next without just simply rushing straight ahead to the next thing, that creates arousal. And really high amounts of arousal are really important for really hot, amazing sex. So really go back to being teenagers and just have have that long makeout session before you do anything else. Now, I know I said the last tip would be the hottest, and at this point, you're probably thinking, uh, communication? What? That doesn't sound super hot at all. But here's the thing. People come to this channel because they want to have better sex. And more often than not, that's because they're not having the kind of sex that they really wish they were having. A lot of us are in that position. I've been in that position myself before. And here's the thing. We get taught so much shame around sex. We get taught to see sex as such an embarrassing thing that we should never ever talk about and, and that it's such an inappropriate thing to ever bring up in conversation. That what happens is we don't end up actually talking to our own partners about sex. And people so often come to me and tell me their stories about their sex lives and, and come to me with their questions. They email them through or sometimes you guys ask them in the comments section and you would rather do that. Talk to me, a literal stranger on the internet who you guys have never met in person before. You would rather tell me than tell your own partner that actually you want to try out a fa particular fantasy in the bedroom or you want to try a threesome or that you actually have a secret foot fetish or that actually none of your orgasms have ever been real. If you do not tell your partner honestly what it is you want in bed and honestly what it is that you don't want in bed, you cannot expect to be having better sex. It's kind of like going into a job interview and the boss not ever asking you what your time management skills are like in the job interview, then hiring you and then the boss being really surprised when actually you sleep in every day and you keep showing up late to work. Yeah, because you didn't check in the first place if you were actually good at time management. Don't be surprised when your partner disappoints you sexually and when the sex is really boring, when you've never bothered to actually tell your partner what it is that you want and what are the things that your partner's doing that actually you'd rather just skip altogether. They're not really doing anything for you. Do not let that fear and that shame that you have been taught get in the way of being honest with your partner about sex. The hacks that I've told you in this video, these hacks are going to make a huge difference to your sex life. They're really going to help you have more pleasurable sex. But I'm here to tell you now, none of them are going to work unless you use this specific hack. That is to talk and to communicate and really be honest with your partner about what it is that you want. And this is not just for people that are in established relationships. This is also for people who are having a one night stand. There's a reason people have 
disappointing one night stands because we get too shy to tell the person we're having the one night stand with that that thing that they're doing isn't working and we'd actually like them to do something else. So just get your confidence together and talk about it. Guys, I know it's awkward, I know it's uncomfortable, but guess what? Guess what's more uncomfortable than talking about sex? Having sex that you'd rather not be having because it kind of sucks and not in like the good way sucks either. So open your mouth and talk before you open your mouth to do other things. <laughs> All right, guys, that is all from me. Make sure you check out Promessant because they have been such an amazing sponsor to me. And when you guys go and buy from Promessant, it actually supports me and this channel to stay alive and me to keep doing this as a job, which I still every day have to remind myself that this is my actual job. Like, I, I can never thank you guys enough for letting me be able to do this. I have so much fun just sharing my passion and my knowledge with you guys. So thank you for letting me do it and making it a reality. And if you have been letting me do it and making it a reality for me for a while now, but you still haven't subscribed, then guys, make sure you hit that subscribe button and join my sex positive family because I'm here every Monday and Friday and sometimes Wednesdays like today to tell you all of the best sex advice and news that there is. So yeah, do that. Hit the notification bell as well so you don't miss when my videos go live and I will see you in the next video.